In this video, we're going to look at the proof for the alternate segment theorem. So in other words, proving that angle A, the angle between the tangent and the chord, is ex exactly the same as the angle inside the triangle on the opposite side, this angle here, B. So I need to show that A is equal to B. That's our objective. So first of all, I've drawn the radii from the center to the point in the triangle here and the point on the tangent here. Okay, so I've connected those up. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to look at this triangle, and it's an isosceles triangle because this is the radius and this is the radius, and I'm going to chop it in half like so. So chopping it in half will give me a right angle on either side. So we've got our right angle and right angle, and we know it's an isosceles triangle, so we had that this is x and this is x. And likewise, if we cut the angle here in half, we're going to get y and y. They're going to be the same as each other. So I've labeled it, and I've got my a and my b still. I've got my two x's, which must be the same as each other. And because I cut the angle in half here, that's going to be y, and that's going to be y. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at some of the key points here. So if I look at this purple line, this is the radius. And it meets the tangent always at 90 degrees, and that's one of our circle theorems. Look at the video on that if you need to. So I know the whole angle between the purple line and the tangent is 90. In other words, a plus x is equal to 90. So a plus x is equal to 90. That's our first bit of information. Next. Let's look at one of these right angle triangles. So this right angle triangle here, we know the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So I know that 90, let's write that down, 90 degrees plus x plus y must be equal to 180 degrees because it's a triangle. So if I take 90 off both sides, I get x plus y is equal to 90, taking 90 off both sides. So here I've got a plus x is equal to 90, and here I've got y plus x is equal to 90. Therefore I know my a and my y must be the same as each other, so a equals y. In other words, this angle here is the same as this angle here. Okay, now finally, we need to look at then our other circle theorems, and we know that the angle at the circumference here is going to be half the angle at the center, or looking at it the other way, the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. So in other words, if I times this angle by 2, I get the angle at the center here, the whole angle at the center. So in other words, if I times this by 2, I'm going to get 2b equals, and the whole angle at the center is 2y, the whole angle. Now if I half that, I get b is equal to y. So I've got two equations here. I've got a is equal to y, and I've got b is equal to y. Now if a is equal to y and b is equal to y, by default, a equals b. So a equals b. So in other words, this angle is exactly the same as this angle. And that was our objective, so we have proved the alternate segment theorem, that this angle will always be equal to the same as this angle. You could repeat this the other way around to show that this angle here is the same as this one, and so on.